she's in college and uses food delivery apps. Red. <laughs> college students don't tip. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm 20 years old and you're watching Flags. Right now we're at UCF. We're gonna go through some different life choices in a potential partner and we're gonna call it out if it's a red or a green flag. Let's start with a easy one. She only drinks bottled water. I'll put them both. I don't, I don't think it matters that much. I'm not like, I can live with that. Oh, it's not a big deal. She doesn't want kids ever. A flag. I work with kids. I love kids. I want kids. So if no kids, that's, that's my red flag. Wow, dude. What's the career you're going for now? So I want to do clinical psychology and I want to specialize working with children that have autism, doing therapy. Wow. When did you realize that was something important to you, especially working with the youngins? Two of my younger cousins have autism and I just kind of really been more curious about autism and I would love to like work alongside children, but to families that, yeah, their child, they're not labeled with, you know, the stigmas that the world would give them. Her father is a billionaire and she was raised in a wealthy lifestyle. It's gonna be a little red flag. Just because feeling like you're, you deserve things, things are entitled to you, things to be given to you. I think a little bit more, I don't think money is a bad thing, but I think the love of money and the desire for money can be a bad thing. And so I think that just will like mm -hmm. conflict with me a little bit. Yeah, they say money's not the root of all evil, but the love of money. But if you're using your money generously to serve others, to meet the needs of the community, to meet the needs of others, then I'd absolutely say it's a green flag. I would hope one day to have money that I can use it as a vessel to serve and love on other people. But yeah. if it's going to be the love of money that you have to get a bunch of nice things and to live a lavish life, I'd, I got to throw the mm -hmm. red one. Nope. I feel like as long as the parent distinguishes that that's their money that they earn and the kid doesn't feel entitled to it. Like, what is it? Like, even Shaq called out his kids yeah. once. <laughs> Saying that, oh, you're not rich. I'm rich. <laughs> he did like that. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's true. If, it's, if the kid can separate between this is nice things but doesn't define me versus this is a nice thing that is me. She gets her nails done every two weeks. I'm going I'm to throw both up. I used to be the guy who got his hair cut every two weeks. So, like, I think getting your nails done is a part of the professionalism is like a guy getting his hair cut. So I don't think it's a big deal if you're getting, like, $100 plus nails. And it's, but if it's you're getting, like... $40, $30 nails. Then you just open yourself up to uh, to roasts on your hair. I haven't gotten a haircut actually in about a couple months. I had to cut this myself because it's been a couple months. You cut yourself? Yeah, how's it look? Bro, it actually looks pretty good. Yeah? You Seriously, you cut it yourself? Sometimes I, I have the mirror and then I like I use my phone and I like, kind of... Do you actually go by it. feel? Yeah. I do like going to the barber still just because it's, it's a nice experience to just relax. <laughs> Get the cut. Instead of like working my deltoids and stuff. She uses credit cards for emergencies. What do you mean emergencies? Gets a uh, flat tire, needs a new tire, uses her credit card. Green. I think the credit card can be a great tool if used wisely. So if she's sparingly using it for, Man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, that, no, that's legit. Because like, I think it's scary to think I'm only going to use this for emergencies because anything could become an emergency now. And you don't, you don't feel the the money going away when you're using a credit card that's my after wise counsel i'm gonna go with the red and i say this after you saying that i think the credit card should be used like a debit card that just collects credit and allows you to invest in bigger things later on mm -hmm. but the money you spend with a credit card you should have liquid in your bank already Either way, you should have an emergency fund in place when emergencies do occur, so you don't have to turn to a credit card. Just as a piece of, just a recommendation for college students out there. Hey, I'm going to have to write the one down. <laughs> She's in college and uses food delivery apps. Red. Nah. Everything's so expensive, man. Everything's so expensive. That's like five extra dollars you're spending. That's just like... If you're on campus, go walk, you know what I'm saying? Go walk to a restaurant or like go walk, pick your food up, go drive, you know what I'm saying? Like, or go walk home and cook. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I would just go cook. <laughs> yeah, bro, that, that stuff adds up, especially as a college student too. I think what also is like a little burden to the delivers is that college students don't tip. And those people are like making most of their money off the tips of the people that they're dropping the food off for. And a college person is not tipping. Mm -hmm. So it's like, they're paying a little bit extra and then they're also doing a disservice to the delivery person oh, because that. they're not helping them out. That's solid. I didn't even think about that side. Yeah. My dad has always been like, he's always been key on like tipping. And generous. 
to yeah like my family's like not by any means like super wealthy but my dad always made it that like if we're going out to eat it's not just like paying for the meal but it's also paying for the server as well you've been dating for two months and she's never offered to pick up the check oh, i don't matter i i personally believe especially pursuing a young woman in a relationship two months ain't ain't enough time for her to start collecting the tab I think if you're wanting to take her out on dates, if you're wanting to pursue a relationship with her, you should have some finances to be able to take her out, take her places. You know, nothing doesn't have to be always extravagant, but yeah, at least pay for dinner. Two months is nuts. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> the the girl you marry wants to take the kids to church every Sunday. Oh, that's the biggest green flag of them all. <laughs> There's a couple things in life that are very, very important, but I think faith is the absolute epitome of them all, um, especially faith in Jesus Christ. So if my if my wife is taking my kids to church and they're being filled with the news, the good news of the gospel every <laughs> Sunday, that's an absolute green flag to have. She likes to gamble for fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we don't need to be spending our money like that. Yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got to say. I, I, that's all. That's all the words I got about that too. <laughs> Let me know in the comments: Is Justin a red or a green flag? With those responses, actually, comment down below what situations we should ask for the next video.